Toy Story Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everyone! So in today's video I'm going to be doing a Toy Story nail art design that's a lot of fun. If you're a Toy Story fan, this is definitely something you'd be interested in. So I hope you like it, and don't forget to click subscribe to see my future videos as well. Begin by painting all of your nails white. On my ring nail, I'm going to be painting Woody's face, so I'm going to start and I'm just going to add that little angle for the top of his forehead because his hat does kind of cover up some of his forehead, and then adding his face below it. And just this is a light peach color and I'm just blocking out all my shapes. And he has a fairly long, thin face. And then add his neck and his ear. And now with brown paint, I'm going to be adding his hair and his hat. So his hair pretty much just shows on the sides of his face and his hat covers up his forehead like I mentioned before. So we're adding the brim right now. And then add the top of it. And then I'm going to add a red scarf around his neck. So just go along the bottom of his neck and then add two little bunny ears on the side. And so now I'm going to be starting the actual details of the nail. So I'm going to cover this with another layer of that peach paint. And then with some brown paint, I'm going to be blending in on the areas that need to be shadowed. So around his forehead, down the bridge of his nose, the bottom of his nose, around his chin, side of his face, and inside his ears. Basically the areas where you want to darken. And then also give him just a little smile line. So I'm going to add a white circle for each eye. And then two little white lines for his teeth. Or actually just one little white line for his teeth. So now I'm going to add some more details with brown paint starting with his eyebrows. And make them one a little bit higher than the other so it looks like he's got this kind of questioning glance. And then also give um, that smile line and then the top row of his teeth and the iris in each eye. So now I'm going to be doing a couple more details with some black. So I'm going to start and I'm going to do some outlining. And so I'm going to outline the outside of him. I'm not going to over outline, just do some subtle outlining. So then on my middle nail, I'm going to be painting the face shape for Jessie. And so she's got a part that goes down the center of her face. So you're going to want to add this sort of curtain looking appearance for the top of her hair and then add her ears and her neck. And then with red paint, we're going to be painting her hair and her hat. So this, that line right there is for her hair. And then also she's got a braid that comes down from the side from behind her neck. And now I'm adding her hat. So I'm going to start with the circle that's going to be for the brim of her hat, going around and then adding the top of it above that. And now I'm going to add her yellow shirt. And I'm going to, just like for Woody, I'm going to cover her face with another layer of that peach color. And then I'm going to be blending in some brown just to add some shades and really give her a good dimension. And I really want to mention that it does not take a lot of brown paint to do this. You want the smallest amount on the very tip of your brush and then you're just going to blend it in. You have to work a little bit quickly so that your tan paint or your peach paint isn't going to dry before everything is blended in correctly. So just make sure that you try to work quickly and with a small amount of paint. And I'm going to be adding her eyes with white. And also if something gets messed up, you don't ever have to worry about it because you can always start over. It's not like if you mess up, you just ruined it. It's done. You can always fix things and then add the two lines for her teeth. And now with black paint, I'm going to be doing some outlines, starting with her hair. And then because she is a girl, I'm going to do some outlining around her eyes and in her mouth. Give her her nose and eyebrows, her shirt. And just add a couple little movement lines on her hair just to show that her hair has some direction. And then add bright green for the color in her eyes. And then a dot of black. On my index nail with the same light color peach, I'm going to be painting the face shape for Buzz Lightyear. And 
and then I'm going to be adding the purple that goes around his head. And then also the very bottom, so his neck is also covered in purple. With bright green, I'm going to add the very top of his space suit, so that's just going to kind of go from the side of the nail down and around. And then just a little bit behind his head. And then with gray, I'm going to be adding the gray circle that goes around his head. So first there's the area that his neck is in, and then you're also going to need to add the area where it goes up and around the top of his head. And then add another layer of peach to his face, just like we've been doing for everyone else, and then blend in some brown. And for him, I'm also going to add just a little bit of white, just to give his face a little bit more contrast. And then I'm going to be adding his white eyes and teeth. And one of his eyes is open just a little bit wider than the other one. And add two little lines for teeth. And now we're going to be with black paint adding the details. So I'm going to outline his mouth, his nose a little bit, the top line of his eyes, and then some of just the details from around his face. Add a little bit more of that tan over his eyelids just to make them look like they stand out. Add some blue in his eyes and a black dot. And then I'm going to be adding his eyebrows with brown. On my pinky nail with bright green paint, I'm going to be painting the face shape for my green alien. So I'm going to start with just an oval right about in the center of my nail, add his ears on either side, and then add this little antenna that goes straight up. And then beneath his head, we're going to be adding a stripe for the top of his little suit that's purple. And then below that, blue. I'm going to add another layer of green. And then you guessed it, we're going to be shading in our little, mon our little alien with some darker green paint. So just while that lighter green is still wet, I'm going to be shading pretty much exactly straight around his head and then add just a little bit more of that darker color around each eye and then fill in those eyes with some white paint. And now I'm going to be doing the infamous outlining. So I'm <laughs> I'm just going to go around and with these whole characters, I'm not completely outlining everything. I'm just doing sort of a selective outline. This is going to make it look a lot more realistic and just kind of better in the end. And so I'm not like I said, I'm not outlining everything, just what I think is necessary. And also add his mouth. So now my thumbnail, I'm going to be painting the Toy Story logo. And I'm going to start with a trapezoid with red in the left half of my nail. And I don't really want to cross over into the right side. I want to make sure it pretty much stays on the other side. And I'm going to be filling in the word toy above my red trapezoid. And so I'm going to start with the O right in the center. And I'm painting this with blue. Add the Y after it. And a T before it. With yellow paint, I'm going to start and I'm going to be filling in the toy. So I'm going to add a yellow line that leaves a thin blue line around it so it just looks like your letters are yellow with a blue outline. And 
And then in your red trapezoid, we're going to be writing story. And I'm going to start with the O in the center, add an R after it, and then the Y. And then write the T and the S. And of course, add a layer of top coat. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this design. Please share any recreations with me on Facebook and Instagram. I would really love to see them and I will see you in my next video. Bye.